So is that when you say um, an operator, do you mean someone who's monitoring the operation of the of the robo taxis to make sure that they're you know not malfunctioning or having a problem? Yes. Yeah. So in that case, um, for uh, in the case of you can one human monitor can monitor, for example, 20 to 30 vehicles. And if there are examples where you obviously get flashed up, you can monitor the, the progress of a vehicle overall. Or if a passenger has any concerns, then they can, for example, press a button and then they can speak to the operator and the operator can help them get something sorted out. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a massive step in favor of what we used to have, which was you had to have a human. And as is the case in a lot of environments, you had to have that human present there in, to override the vehicle immediately because the risk was so high. One of the things that strikes me about the robo taxi experience in China is just how many miles uh, it's it's already logged. Uh, Baidu's uh, Apollo Go, for example, millions and millions of rides, uh, fourteen million over over since it got started, and two point two million rides just in one uh, quarter, and that seems extraordinary and far far more advanced than the uh, United States. 